the Clean Room Environmental Monitoring Performance Qualification EMPQ, is a critical part of the validation process to ensure that the clean room environment meets regulatory requirements and can maintain a controlled, contamination-free environment for manufacturing sterile products. EMPQ verifies that the clean room environment is designed, installed, and operating according to specifications that guarantee product quality and safety. Typically performed as part of the commissioning process or when significant changes are made to the clean room, EMPQ is essential for ensuring consistency in clean room performance, regulatory compliance, product safety and quality, risk mitigation, and performance confirmation of clean room systems. Clean rooms must operate consistently within predefined environmental parameters to maintain product safety and sterility. The EMPQ process verifies that the clean room can reliably meet these conditions. The qualification process ensures that temperature, humidity, particulate levels, airflow, and microbial contamination are consistently controlled, minimizing the risk of contamination and failure. Regulatory authorities such as the FDA, EU GMP, Anvisa, TGA, and others require that pharmaceutical, biotech, and medical device manufacturing clean rooms meet strict operational standards. The EMPQ ensures compliance with regulations by confirming that the clean room meets cleanliness, air quality, and environmental conditions per industry guidelines, including ISO 14644-1 and ISO 14644-2 standards for particulate cleanliness and microbial contamination. Regulatory bodies often require formal documentation of the EMPQ to prove that the clean room environment can consistently maintain the necessary conditions for safe and sterile product manufacturing. Sterile products, including injectable drugs, biologics, and medical devices, are susceptible to contamination. Even minute contamination can compromise product quality, safety, and sterility, potentially harming patients and leading to recalls or regulatory actions. The EMPQ assesses the effectiveness of the clean room environment in controlling particulate and microbiological contamination. By confirming the cleanliness of the environment, the EMPQ ensures that products remain free of harmful contaminants throughout the manufacturing process. The EMPQ program identifies potential risks and vulnerabilities within the clean room environment, such as temperature, humidity, or airflow fluctuations, which can negatively impact product quality. By monitoring and testing the clean room environment, potential issues are identified early, allowing corrective actions to be taken before they affect the production process. Regular EMPQ testing ensures that the clean room's environmental control systems remain functional, reducing the risk of contamination and preventing major disruptions. EMPQ validates the performance of air filtration systems, ensuring they meet required standards for particle removal and air quality. The qualification process confirms that HVAC systems are operating efficiently and maintaining the required environmental conditions. EMPQ verifies that particle counters are accurately measuring and reporting particle levels in the clean room environment. The EMPQ establishes the baseline for clean room performance and sets the foundation for future monitoring and requalification efforts. Following initial qualification, periodic requalification ensures that the clean room continues to meet regulatory requirements and operational standards. The EMPQ provides a framework for routine environmental monitoring by establishing acceptable limits for particulate levels, microbiological contamination, and environmental parameters. Proper documentation of the EMPQ process is critical for regulatory inspections and audits. Regulatory bodies require evidence that the clean room has been adequately validated and consistently operates within controlled conditions. A well-documented EMPQ process provides auditors with precise, traceable data on environmental performance and ensures transparency in the qualification process. Identify the clean room class based on ISO 14644 to 1 standards, which specifies the allowable particulate levels. The class will dictate the environmental limits for airborne particulates, microbial contamination, and other parameters. Specify required ranges for temperature, humidity, particulate levels, and airflow to ensure the clean room meets these standards. Evaluate sources such as personnel, equipment, materials, and air handling units to identify contamination sources. Assess how the manufacturing process could affect the clean room environment. Focus on high-risk zones and establish risk-based monitoring frequencies to prioritize monitoring locations. Plan locations for particle counters, air sampling, surface sampling, and temperature-slash-humidity sensors. Set the monitoring frequency for each parameter based on risk analysis, such as hourly monitoring for particulates and microbiological sampling. Define action limits and establish alert levels that trigger corrective actions. Ensure all monitoring equipment is calibrated according to manufacturer specifications using certified calibration standards. 
confirm the appropriateness of sampling techniques and ensure equipment is validated for the cleanroom class. Train personnel to use monitoring equipment effectively and follow correct sampling techniques. Establish clear objectives for the qualification process and specify the validated parameters. Outline how tests will be conducted, including locations, methods, equipment, and durations. Establish acceptance criteria that align with regulatory standards or internal specifications. Begin testing according to the established protocol, ensuring continuous or periodic monitoring of environmental parameters under actual operational conditions. Ensure that monitoring equipment continuously records data for each parameter, maintaining data integrity and investigating deviations immediately. Perform microbiological monitoring using air samplers, surface swabs, and settle plates. Measure particulate contamination levels using a particle counter. Compare collected data to established action and alert limits. Evaluate deviations and determine potential causes. Document all test results, including raw data, observations, deviations, and corrective actions. Prepare a formal qualification report. The final qualification report should be reviewed and approved by relevant personnel. Address any identified issues or nonconformances with corrective actions. Set up a routine monitoring plan based on EMPQ outcomes, ensuring critical parameters are continuously or periodically monitored during production. Define requalification frequency and ensure tests are repeated as required to confirm ongoing suitability of the cleanroom. Perform corrective actions if monitoring reveals parameters outside acceptable limits. Retest the cleanroom after corrective actions. Environmental Monitoring Performance Qualification EMPQ, ensures the cleanroom operates effectively under specified conditions, maintaining sterility and quality standards. The following are key tests involved in the EMPQ program, along with their specifications and recommended frequencies. These tests cover particulate monitoring, microbial monitoring, temperature and humidity control, airflow assessment, surface microbial monitoring, and hepa ulpa filter integrity testing. Measurement of airborne particulate matter using a particle counter. Based on ISO 14644-1 to standards, the allowable number of particles larger than 0.5 microns is 3520 particles per cubic meter for ISO class 5. Continuous or periodic monitoring is recommended during the qualification phase. Microbiological air sampling using impaction methods, settling plates, or contact plates. For ISO class 5 clean rooms, the acceptable level is 1 CFU, colony forming unit per cubic meter of air for particles greater than or equal to 0.5 microns. During qualification, microbial air sampling is usually performed every 1 to 2 hours. Frequency can be reduced after qualification, but continuous monitoring may be necessary in critical zones. Most clean room environments require a temperature range of 18 to 22 degrees Celsius and a relative humidity range of 30 to 60 percent, depending on the product sensitivity. Continuous monitoring is required during the qualification process, with regular checks during routine operations. Airflow velocity measurements using an anemometer and assessment of air change rates. Clean rooms must achieve a minimum of 20 to 30 air changes per hour, ACH, depending on the clean room class. Generally assessed during qualification and requalification. Routine maintenance checks should also be performed periodically. Sampling clean room surfaces using swabs or contact plates to detect microbial contamination. ISO class 5 clean rooms typically allow zero CFUs on surfaces. ISO class 7th of May allow a slightly higher CFU count, but it still must be controlled. Surfaces should be sampled periodically, for example, daily or weekly, during qualification. During routine operations, sampling frequency can be adjusted based on risk assessments. Challenge testing or particle counting to confirm the integrity of HEPA slash ALPA filters. HEPA filters should remove at least 99.995% of particles greater than or equal to 0.3 microns. ALPA filters have a higher efficiency of around 99.999%. Filter integrity tests should be conducted annually or after significant maintenance work.